What's going on in the world of rideshare driver finances this week? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down what's going on with the stimulus bill, which is being bandied about like a hot potato between the White House and the Republicans and the Democrats. So I'm going to lay all that out for you and stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to tell you whether I think this bill is going to get passed this week or not. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. Drinking my morning espresso. Sunday morning. Let me see, my Fitbit says it's 8.04. And this is the second of the uh, Monday Ride Share Finances with Jay Crater. All right. Number one, we are off the cliff. We are off the cliff. Take a look at this. Yeah, that is us right there, okay? We're at the top of the cliff looking down, looking down, okay? The $600 has stopped, and there does not seem to be a solution in sight. Uh, unemployment claims rose for the second week in a row, all right? That's not good, not good for the economy. The extra $600 a week unemployment benefits are expiring. They expired on the 31st yesterday at midnight officially um, as congress fails to agree on another stimulus deal look at this tidal wave of power shutoffs looms as nation grapples with heat all right and in addition to that what else the the uh, eviction moratorium ended um, although i read that most people can't get evicted without a 30-day notice um, so that gives people another 30 days but still really horrible, horrible experiences for approximately 30 million Americans who are waiting to find out if the unemployment benefit, the bonus $600 is going to continue or not. Let's break into who are the players here. Number two, <clears throat> the White House. The White House. Yes. So there's basically three players here at the White House. A guy named Steven Mnuchin, a guy named Mark Meadows, and a guy named Donald Trump. Yeah. So what you see here is uh, the odd couple, Mnuchin and Meadows struggle to make a deal. And then here we got a Donald Trump tweet. Pelosi and Schumer blocked desperately needed unemployment benefits, which is so terrible, especially since they fully understand that it was not the workers' fault and that they are unemployed. It's the fault of China. And then the next article. White House says Americans about to lose 600 coronavirus aid should call Democrats. So this is a lot of the blame game. So the Democrats put a proposal on the table over two months ago. The White House didn't get serious about this until last week, right? And we didn't even get anything in writing until the beginning of this, this current week. So the White House really dropped the ball. Why? Why do you think they did that? Well, I think they thought the economy was going to be getting better and they could dramatically reduce this uh, stimulus package. But the economy didn't get any better, right? Um, our, 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 our cases are going up. Our deaths are going up. Uh, major areas in the, in the country are having to shut down. Okay, number three are the Republicans, led by uh, Mr. Mitch McConnell. And... They're working with the White House. They worked with the White House week before last, trying to put a, a deal together. So the Democrat proposal was for $3 trillion. And of course, extending the $600 for uh, till January. <laughs> the Republicans put together a package for $1 trillion and they wanted to reduce the amount down to $200, right? And here's what we're seeing in the news. Uh, McConnell, 15 to 20, so this is Mitch McConnell saying this uh, to the Hill. McConnell, 15 to 20 uh, Republican senators will not vote for any coronavirus deal. All right. So what that means is there are some Republicans that just don't feel this is necessary, that they're not even going to vote right in Congress. All right. Look at this. Uh, the GOP fails to help. So GOP, the grand old party, that's the Republicans failed to help Americans face the coronavirus crisis. Lawmaker responsibility has been obvious for months, but they're coming up empty.
coming up empty. That's right. They're coming up empty. So number four, the Democrats. Okay. The Democrats who over two months ago proposed what's called the HEROES Act, which is a $3 trillion package, which provides just everything for everybody to get us through this, uh, this uh, horrible pandemic, which has been horribly mismanaged. And that's why we're having so many people die. And that's why some big parts of the country are, are still shut down. So the Democrats made their proposal and the Democrats are led by this woman, uh, Nancy Pelosi. All right, Nancy Pelosi, who if you want to get $600 a week going all the way through January, this is your hero. She's going to fight for the little guy. That's what she's done her entire, entire career. Number five, the battle. It's a battle royal. It's like three forces are all kind of working, hammering, trying to hammer this thing out. And nothing really got accomplished this week. But uh, let me show you what's on the table. So what's on the table is uh, the stimulus payment, which will probably be $1,200. That seems to be not a big issue. The big one is the uh, FPUC extension. Um, the Republicans said uh, $200 for two months and then going to 70% of what your earnings are. And then uh, the Republicans, are, the, the Democrats are saying $600 per week. For how long will that continue? Uh, Mitch McConnell really wants what's this liability protection for businesses for five years. And what that is, is um, if somebody comes into your restaurant and you're keeping it clean and they get sick from COVID, they can't sue your restaurant. And um, that's something that he really very much wants because then uh, businesses will be more likely to open because they won't have the fear of somebody suing them. Okay, so we'll continue here. And then there's uh, funding for testing, right? Funding for schools, funding for state and local government, and more funding for business loans, such as the PPP and the EIDL. So Friday, last Friday, the 31st, right? It came, it came and it went and nothing got passed. So what happened? <laughs> they all went home. <laughs> they all went home. Would they uh, stay there for the weekend and figure this thing out with 30 million Americans facing the cliff? No, no. But apparently Pelosi and some of the Republicans of the White House did stick around and they're wh whacking it out. And uh, here it says, Congress leaves town without a coronavirus stimulus deal, allowing $600 unemployment benefits to end. But then just this morning, I pulled this, and it says, Pelosi calls relief package discussions productive, but no deal yet. So apparently on Saturday, yesterday, um, they had some good conversations and, and they're starting to find that middle ground, right? So uh, the Republicans really want that uh, liability protection and the Democrats really want the $600 through January and uh, the White House really wants to get reelected. So they want the economy to work and they want people to be happy and they, they're going to keep butting heads because uh, they are two trillion apart, right? One trillion is what the Republicans have put out and three trillion is what the Democrats have put out. So what are my key takeaways here? Oh. We got to just slow down and take a deep breath. It's, uh, it's a tough time to be a driver, that's for sure. And this whole stimulus package, whether it's going to continue or not, you know, makes it, makes it that much more difficult. We are on a cliff and some people are going to fall off the cliff, unfortunately, uh, before anything, uh, any more money is coming from the government. My prediction is nothing's going to happen this week. That They're going to continue to fight and the Republicans in the White House are going to propose something like 200 a week or 300 a week. And Nancy Pelosi is going to stand up to them and say, no, we need the $600 a week. And they're not going to find a meeting of the minds this week. So that's my prediction. It's not going to happen quick. Um, good negotiations sometimes, you know, it's got to hurt on both sides for a negotiation to really work. And I think, I think the Democrats are going to have to give up the liability uh, for the companies 
and the Republicans are going to have to give up the $600 until January. Um, that's that's that would be the best thing for us, the rideshare drivers, who don't want to go out and potentially get sick uh, from this virus. And hopefully by January, then there's a vaccine, and we can all get a little shot in our arm and be like, yeah, we're we're good again. But again, that's that's a happy thought, and we have no certainty of that either. All right. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Okay, that helps the algorithm to let more people to see it. I will be back next Monday with an update. and We'll see what happened in this drama that we're all going through. Uh, I look forward to it. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there. Bye for now.